Thanks for staying with us. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, raised the interest rate to 26.75%, up from 26.25% in May 2024, to tackle rising core and food inflation. CBN Governor Laimi Cardoso announced the decision at the end of the two-day 296th Monetary Policy Committee meeting in Abuja, highlighting inflation rates of 34.19%, for core inflation and 40.87% for food inflation in June. All other monetary parameters remained unchanged, including the cash reserve ratio at 45% for commercial banks, 14% for merchant banks, the liquidity ratio at 30%, and the asymmetric corridor at plus 500 uh, stroke 100. The interest rate hike means business, farmers, manufacturers, Investors will face higher cost of lo for loans, ma marking the fourth increase since Cardoso's appointment in September last year. Despite continued interest uh, rate hikes, Nigeria's inflation remains high, prompting some analysts like Muda Yusuf of the Center for Promotion of Private Enterprise to call for a pause on further rate increases, uh, citing overstretched monetary instruments. To discuss this with us is Mr. Frank Elanya, Senior Financial Analyst, Tech Cabal. Good morning and welcome to the program, Frank. Frank, can you hear me? Good morning. Yeah, thank you. Um, um, it's always a pleasure for having me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we have reached that... Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. We have reached that point where Nigerians will just say it don't happen again. Because time and time again we're seeing this. After the appointment of the CBN governor in September... Uh, the tax rate or the not the tax rate now the interest rate has been raised so many times and experts are calling for a pause i don't even know how this is helping us because the inflation doesn't seem to be curbed in any way at all help us go through what these resolutions in the uh, recent uh, mpc uh, monetary policy committee meeting resolutions are let's understand now that uh, the interest rate has been hiked and some other parameters are remaining the same, let us understand them, first of all. Okay, so um, uh, by, by letting the CR uh, to remain the same, I, I think the CBN is uh, uh, trying to let banks have more um, cash to lend uh, to, lend to uh, businesses. And then um, the decision to increase rate, the decision to increase rate is uh, according to them to uh, to to curb inflation. Um, if you We seem to increase the uh, twenty six percent to more of excess liquidity in the in the market. Um, in, in the past one year, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's it's a bit delayed, but I can hear you. You're talking about other parameters staying the same, so that uh, they can have more money. Banks can have more money to lend to people. But who is collecting this money with that kind of high interest rate? Is it? Is it a good thing for our economy in the first place? Because they're saying it's going to fight inflation, and inflation is not, it's not giving way at all. It's, in fact, it's rising. Now food inflation is up to 40%, and they say we're fighting inflation. Every other sector of the economy is very, very biting at this moment. The economy doesn't seem to be improving, and people who are manufacturing cannot even collect this money because they know that the interest is so high, and they may not be able to pay. Can they break even and all that? What does, does this even portend to our economy in the first place? The, the supposed experts are doing what they feel should be done, but the reality on ground is different. Well, we can't seem to uh, be hearing uh, Frank Elanya. Uh, the technical issues that we're facing um, may not be favorable for us to continue with him but we're still hoping that he might still join us but what we're talking about at this point is that uh, the um, the monetary policy committee meeting that was held recently uh, raised the interest rates again mr elania are, are you there
Yes, yes. I'll... Okay. I was just wondering who was going to collect yeah. this money that you are saying that Should they, I continue? the banks are being, the other parameters are remaining the same so that they can have this money to lend to people. Who will collect the money in the first place? Because if you've collected, can you pay back? Can you break even? Can, you, can your business flourish in this kind of a thing? We're fighting inflation that is not giving way in any way at all. So is it even helping us? Hello, Frank. Okay, so um, I think the last thing I heard that, that you were talking about was uh, um, if you're going to take a loan from the banks, um, can you pay back? Am I correct? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, so um, yeah, that's that's where the problem is. It's, um, uh, last month, I was in Kigali, and then, uh, no, in Abuja, I was in Abuja, and then uh, the, I, I, I was listening to uh, the CBN governor talking about um, why they've been raising interest rate. And, of course, what, one of the things that I have um, cost measure that they are taking is not being replicated by this aspect of this economy. Um, so you have the monetary... Uh, policies being uh, actively um, engaged, try to mop up inflation and other. But the bigger fiscal aspect where you have um, policies that will drive yeah, um, manufacturing policies that will drive productivity. That that. that Dry being replicated in the fiscal um, side of the economy. So, no matter how much you um, increase the benchmark interest rate, um, it is all always not going to uh, yield the kind of result to yield. It's unfortunate we cannot continue with Frank Elanya, a senior financial analyst with Tech Cabal. The audio quality is really bad. Um, it's not his fault. It's uh, how it is. Uh, but um, we do hope that uh, if there is need, we are going to continue with this disc discussion on uh, another date uh, about why the CBN is raising so much uh, interest and then if it is even working uh, in our good or in our favor as a country or not. They are the experts, they must know better, but some other people are saying that it is uh, neck breaking, especially the manufacturers and the people who do imports and all that. And they're saying with an interest rate like that, economy, the economy might crumble because a lot of, uh, a lot of companies, a lot of uh, industries might fold up because they cannot get money, they cannot access money. Even if they access it, they are afraid of uh, being able to pay back and being able to even break even or making a, a profit out of what they are going to do. People are already suffering. People are already uh, rationing their meals, rationing everything. Nobody wants to buy anything new except those people who may be having money, um, free money that they didn't really work for, if you know what I mean. Uh, but Nigeria, the average Nigerian, is not ready to, to pay that cost that extra cost for anything that is coming is the basic things that we need right now. And we're not sure, that at least some of us who do not understand are not sure that the uh, central bank uh, policies of um, raising the interest rate is uh, to our benefit in any way. They have to explain more and that explanation has to be in the, the perceived profits we are getting as a people, the improvements we are getting in our economy and how the inflation is coming down. But now inflation is not coming down, it's going up. Food inflation is above 40 and the general inflation is, about 30, uh, is above 30. And that's very worrisome in a country like Nigeria, so well endowed. We do hope that solutions will come soon enough for all of us to, um, to, to breathe or heave a sigh of relief, as they say. And that's what we are praying for in this country. Okay, we'll take a break and uh, hopefully return for the second hot topic uh, that uh, we hope to be treating this uh, morning. Once again, we're very sorry that we could not continue with Frank Elania. 
senior financial analyst at Tech Cabal, who was going to help us make sense of what the CBN is doing. Uh, but right now, we'll take that break and hope that you understand with us. Stay with us.